Hello guys, welcome back to another amazing video. It's your boy Sauce Gaming. Today we're playing Ark Survival, and I'm gonna be showing you a couple things today. So if, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and without further ado, let's get into this video. So what I'm gonna show you today is a couple spots that I know that are easy, easy routes to get um iron. Iron metal. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm, I'm not sure what they call it in here. But the number one spot is all the way in the mountains. That's let's see if I can show you the map. It's more in the in up north region, but that's where the medium the medium is, and the medium is pretty hard. Let's uh. Let's equip this down here. It's pretty hard to get to and your chances of surviving or going down there are not really not really high. So let's let's select and I'm about to put my weapons down here. So this is easier to access. So I'm gonna show you all the way to go. That'll make you get it pretty easier. If you're new to this game. And if you're not new to this game, you probably already know it. And maybe you don't know it. So. Ooh, it's kind of dark, so let's get a torch. Okay. I don't really recommend going at night, but. Looks like we're kind of stuck at night. I mean, unless we try to do something to survive and keep us going. Let's get a fire going. Okay, that takes care of that coldness. So I guess we're going to try to wait till morning to go. Let me collect, collect some fiber. We're going to try to get some materials to try to survive the night. And tomorrow in the morning, we're going to go get iron. And then make it down into metal. So I know this is a little advanced step than where we're at right now because we're barely starting off and we're already doing this, but you got to start off somewhere. And it's better to get the materials now. We're going to use this because this is going to help us come back and forth. This is Honestly, sleeping bags is, I believe, is the the best item you can get. Sleeping bags are the most useful. That and upgrading your weight. Let's see what we'll need out of here. Um, we'll get a bow and we'll, we'll make arrows. So we'll make some bow and arrows for right now. To kind of... Uh, we don't have enough points for that. To kind of give us another weapon to protect ourselves when we're out there in the wilderness. Because there's some pretty dangerous animals out there and you kind of kind of want something to protect yourself. So what do we need? We just need fiber, flint, and thatch. For here we just need fiber and wood. So we'll get that pretty quickly. Let's pretty much get this wood real quick. Oh, that's a thatch. Okay. Uh, we need some more wood. Okay, that should be enough wood. And yeah, guys, we're, we're a pretty new channel. We're less than a week old. So, um, if you can... Show some support, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. We're going to be dropping way more videos in the future. And if y'all really like these videos a lot of the ARC, um, I'll get the Genesis DLC pack and we'll do a review on that. And we'll do a couple walkthroughs through there. I got all the DLC packs except that one. So we can go through all of them and kind of learn things together. This is pretty much the only one I'm kind of familiar with. So we need to get some more flint. Oh man, that's 10 arrows. I didn't think I was making 10 arrows. Okay. That stone is... 
Okay, so we're already getting a little bit of metal. I don't know if I said stone or iron. I guess it's metal. I'm sorry. Kind of getting mixed up between um, Total Miner and Minecraft and then this. I've been playing a lot of survival games lately on my free time. starving over here kind of didn't actually we got a bunch of meat to just throw some meat on there Ooh. just put some meat on there and in the meantime we just eat all these berries Let's put this down here. And we're gonna. Oh man. Kinda. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. That's the best way I could put it. So we're pretty close to leveling up. Let's um, craft some more arrow arrows. So when we go, we're not empty handed. And what else do we need? Oh, another sleeping bag. So we just need to get some hide. Okay, so we're going to have to kill something. Let's put this here. So let's go find something that we can kill. Kind of tempted to go towards that blue light. But if that's across the water into the little, there's another island. And there's a lot of, um, I forgot what sharks they're called. The um, megalodons. I really don't want to kill these dodos. I want to try to preserve the dodos and keep them there. Oh, we're getting tired already. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try to risk it and go up there to that one. Get some water. Just kind of watch out for our back a little bit. Nah, I'm just gonna kill. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to kill this dodo. How's that? Oh, that was a bird. I don't know what that is. Yeah, we're just gonna have to kill the dodo. I don't want to venture off too much in there. Hey, little buddy. Stop, you're making it harder than it has to be. Hey! Oh, I thought, that, I thought he was going to attack me. Well, we need more of a... What do we need to... We need some thatch. Oh, that's no problem. Okay, let's break this down. That should be enough thatch, and let's also level up.
Um, let's see. I really need one of these storage crates. Then we still have nine points. The kind of don't really see anything useful coming up pretty soon. This would be useful, this stimulant. Okay, so here's the dodo we killed. Okay, there it goes. Now what do we need the hide for again? Oh, we need more hide. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even know what I was hitting. I was just... What the hell is that? Oh. Kinda made me feel like there was something behind me. So let's check on our meat. Oh man, I accidentally took off. Put that back. And let's build a wooden crate and put our stuff in. And then we're going to go travel. I need some wood. Really? I was just on that side. Okay, so... We got the wood we needed. Let's see, let's build two crates. One for the, the metal we're about to get right now. One for the metal we're about to get right now, and then for all this and then the other one for all this extra junk we got. Let's set that one there. And let's set this one right beside it. Let's consume a bunch of those. So let's put all this useful, useless, useless, useless right now, useful later. It, that's better to say. It doesn't say useless. Okay. We're gonna need all this stuff later. We got a little bit of metal on us already. Anything we need, we'll just pretty much re-pick up. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit bright outside, so we're gonna just head over there already. So I'm gonna show you all this easy place to always come to to get metal. And if you kind of get lost and you don't really know your way, uh, what button is it? And nope, nope. Oh, okay, yeah. Your map updates everywhere you go, so don't get shy away about it, but. So you, the little island that we're at, we're gonna come back here. What the hell? And you kind of don't want to just swim straight across because you'll learn that the hard way. You just try to go straight across. Usually there's like sharks and shit, well sharks and stuff, like like jellyfishes and stuff, and they'll they'll attack you and. And especially when you're carrying a lot of metal, it kind of sucks to have your body drop all the way down there. At the bottom of the sea and then all that crap. You get about a good distance. Oh, I really can't see anything there. I see a stingray over there. I see a shark. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely not a good idea to go right here. So we're probably going to go a little more further back I saw a shark and I saw a stingray. I don't know if y'all saw it too. Kind of scary. I don't know if y'all saw it too, but I saw it and 
kind of want to avoid that. Stamina back up. What time of day is it? Oh, it's four in the morning. Oh my god. I'm kinda scared, I don't know what I heard. It get like my whole body shivering. I just heard something. Oh, don't tell me this little ugly dude. Oh! Was it you? Oh, what are you ready for already? Oh, no, 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 no. You are not about to take me. I can't believe that thing tried to scare me. Alright guys. Oh man. Chill out. Chill. 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 I'm on land. See? See guys, it's... Man. Alright guys, well I edited out a good section of that. It was just a bunch of bunch of a bunch of trouble honestly. We got killed by the piranhas and then once I spawned back I was stuck in the house. Like in the floor of it. And then I was attacked by Where's where's the piranhas at? Oh my god. Hey! Hey, I'm on land. I was attacked. I was attacked by um these little dinosaurs. I forgot what they're called. All right, so we're gonna try to take the long way around because them piranhas ain't really gonna let us go anywhere, and I'm gonna try to avoid the snakes. Hopefully, in this part, there is no piranhas, and we can just take a shortcut and swim. See any problems? Yeah, this part looks better. I haven't really seen those fish. All right, well, the part that matters is that we made it. After tries and tries, I'm most likely adding all the tries out. After tries and tries, trying to get over here, we finally made it to the other side. For some reason in this lobby it's harder than the other lobbies. But once you get here you wanna You wanna try to avoid that side because that's where all the all the tech the tech raptors and there's like a bunch of tech tech dangerous animals that can really attack you and kill you easily. Tell me we're hungry. Oh no, it's all my meat. Okay. Well, then let's keep running. And if y'all want, y'all can fast forward this. The only, it, or you could just watch it all. It's gonna take a little while to get there. But once I get there, I am gonna pull up my map so you can kind of see where we're at. Oh, it doesn't even show it on here. Well, it doesn't even show it. Well, I guess I could just, I don't know.
Yeah, I gotta watch out. Oh, I'm gonna kill that. We see a, a young boy right here. Oh, got him. Okay, that can be a cancel shot. Are you kidding me? How many of them are there? Oh my god! Where's this bird at? Come on, come on. Yeah! That, that scared me, but yeah, we got him. That honestly scared me. I hope I, I hope I hope when I said yeah like it didn't sound far away because I, I kind of like I don't know I got like this shiver and like I kind of moved my head because I kind of got scared by that and I kind of know what y'all was thinking how, how am I going to get scared by something like that and then still try to play Resident Evil 3 when it comes out um, honestly, when Resident Evil 3 comes out and I do a walkthrough of it, and I'm going to do a walkthrough and a giveaway if y'all are new. Y'all haven't heard heard me say this, but I've been saying I'm going to do a giveaway and a walkthrough of every new game that comes out. And we're going to do Resident, uh, Resident Evil 3 Remastered when it comes out. And yeah, I'm very terrified of that game. Don't really like horror games, but... We're gonna we're gonna try to play from beginning to end. Hopefully, I can make it that far. But we're also gonna play the new we're gonna play the new Elder Scrolls when it comes out, and I am gonna do a giveaway of that also. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. You might be the lucky winner. All you gotta do to enter the giveaways is like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and. It, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Just, just stay there and stay tuned because I'm going to release a video talking about it and that will be the video the giveaway is going to happen on. Dude. I already know what you're trying to do to me. Oh, I missed. don't like those birds really really don't like those birds <laughs> so we need to see on the map so far we're walking on the edges, the edges of the islands basically. That's honestly the best part to go through is just the edges of the islands until we get to our destination. Then if you start walking through these edges, be very careful because half the time I come through here I have a gator just fly at me and pretty scary because you don't see him coming. You just walk in, all of a sudden something just takes you and you start flying. Don't tell me there's another bird flying around me. I hear him, but I don't see him. Yeah, we're almost... Yeah, we're almost there. Just a little bit further. I really don't recommend swimming directly through because like I said there's a lot of alligators and stuff like that 
It's best to kind of go around the long way and then jump across through there. not pick a fight with these. I pick a fight with one of these one time and he destroyed my whole house completely. Once I started getting my ass kicked, I ran into my house and he literally destroyed my house. And I forgot about these boxes. These are like XP chesses. They'll tell you about different creatures, different animals and stuff like that and stuff about them. Learn like um, survival tips. Apparently there's like survivors on these islands. And you pretty much just read through their notes. Oh. Why the hell? I don't know why I made that. I don't know why it says that. Why do they? I don't like that. Take that off. Unsort. Okay. Yeah, take those names off. I don't really like the names. So look, we leveled up five times by just opening one of those chests. And if you want, I can do a video showing you where all the chests are at. I know where a good portion of them are at. So we leveled up all the way to 17 from just that one. We're gonna need the cement paste. And... Got the flare gun. So we have a lot of points actually. I'm gonna go a little crazy with these points. Let's see. Uh, these are important. Yeah, none of that's really important. Standing torches. No, nah, I'm not really gonna waste points on those. Okay. So yeah, apparently there's like other survivors on these islands, and they're here before you. And there's, they have their notes that are left behind, and as you can see on the bottom of the screen, it gives you like XP points. Just while you're playing it, there's a bunch of XP points that keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. And you just keep leveling up. So you just pretty much just run through here. Man, I know this is kind of a long trip, but... It's the, it's the quickest and the easiest way to get unlimited stock of um, metal. And what I recommend doing is just building a bunch of sleeping bags. Build like 30 to 40 sleeping bags and put them there all at once so you can just have a quick way to go so it's only one trip you make here. Because, oop, that young boy is about to spit on me. Oh, bruh. That's all you got? I ain't gonna lie to y'all, for a second he he kinda had me scared. He kinda had me scared for a second. He came out of nowhere and he was... He was beating me up. Let's see, we really don't... Okay, our health is pretty low. Let's jump in this water. But yeah, I recommend just putting like 30 to, 30 to 40 sleeping bags. So you only, you only have to make this route once and then you can just fast travel back and forth, back and forth. And just grind easy on metal. I recommend that with any of them, any of the resource locations. Because that's an easy way to grind. Oh, and these ones, these beavers. I love these beavers. They don't attack you, they're very friendly. But let me tell you this. Once you break their dams, their, their dams have some pretty good materials in them, but once you break them, Oh man, they come out of nowhere and they just jump you. I had to figure that out the hard way. Let's 
Easy. I'll make sure they're laying another one around. Alright, well, let's level up real quick. Let's upgrade our health. Come all the way down, check. Uh, really nothing. Let's drink some water. Eat some nasty meat. Risk of dying. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I mean, really, anything will kill us nowadays. Eating too much greasy food kills you. And plus, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Let's just keep running, keep running, keep running. I really don't like that sound. I don't like something was chasing me. What's fighting? Something just got eight. And I really don't want to figure I really don't want to figure out what got eight. Cause then I'm gonna be the next thing on the mail. I believe it's here. I believe it's here. If not, I'm gonna edit it out so I don't embarrass myself. But here, you should just run straight up through there. Okay. So, a good way to know you're here is because of that little island right there. Just the little island that kind of curves a little bit. That's a good little marker to know. From here you just run straight on up. Once you start taming dinosaurs, it'd be best to just bring them up here because they'll come up here a lot quicker. Oh man. No! No! There's never raptors here! That's not even fair! That's not even fair, there's never raptors there! Look, see? This is zone... This is the easy zone. Raptors are not easy. That was a level 20 raptor. Are you kidding me? You spawn me in front of these. Look at those dolphins chilling. That was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. I really just got killed by that raptor. Now I'm on a mission. I gotta get past that raptor. I know I can't kill a raptor. Especially not w without these materials. But. Wow. Let me check something real quick, guys. Okay, so we're going to just keep running up here. And I'm just going to show you real quick. And that will be the end of the video. That raptor's probably like, this punk bitch better not show up again. Oh! Are you kidding me? A 27 raptor. Oh. My god. This is embarrassing. This is truly embarrassing. Guys, I don't think I'm ready for Resident Evil 3. I really don't. If I'm basically about to shit my pants against some raptors, I'm definitely not ready for them. 
Oh my god. Don't tell me there's something running behind me. Oh. I was about to say, chill dog, I just spawned. I just spawned and you're already trying to make me despawn. Okay, third time's a charm. We should be able to get this third time. I don't understand why we shouldn't. Now look at that, look at that big gator. See those gators over there? I don't know if you kind of see it in the distance or not. The things will launch themselves at you. And I, I jinxed myself too. I said, this raptor is probably like, this punk bitch better not come again. And I went again. I went again anyways. Well shit, I must, I must be stupid. Cause I'm going back again anyways. It's all about, I guess it's pretty much the angle. If I come at an angle, they're not really at. They're not gonna detect me. And they're just gonna let me get to where I gotta go. But first I need to pick up my stuff. I'll pick up my stuff and I'll, I'll run like crazy. So now I'm kind of scared. Now I just, I'm just looking. Is that a raptor? Oh, I heard something. I heard something. Okay, that's not a raptor. I can't see. I can't see at all. Fuck you, raptors. You ain't shit. I ain't scared of no raptors. Oh my god, what's that? Okay guys, this is the mining spot. There's really no raptors or anything up here. So I, I, and these respawn automatically over and over again. I really recommend putting beds down here. So I'm about to put a bunch, I'm about to put one bed here. So I can have someone to respawn to and I'll just keep coming back and getting all the metal I can. Breaking it down, coming back, starting all over again. Guys, I can't stress this enough. This is the easiest way to get metal. Just come here once. As soon as you get here, you just keep coming back and forth. Oh, crap. So, guys, without further ado, drop a like, subscribe. Okay, I'm kind of panicky. Wait, let, let me get to safety. Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to end the video. So, if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button. We're going to be dropping way more videos in the future. And let me hurry up and get out of here before I end up dying. And I'll see y'all guys in the next video.